When it comes to driving, most men think they're top gun. I feel the need, the need for speed. Watch out for the bike one! Oops! But put a woman behind the wheel, and men think we're clueless. Oh, should I write them a note? If I say bad drivers, what comes to mind? Women. 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 Oh. Oh, at the risk of starting a conflagration that mere mortals may not be able to rein in, allow me to make this statement and then fear the potential backlash. Women are better drivers than men. Guys, guys, look, I'm only the messenger. Okay, don't hurt me, all right? Let's bring in the expert of all things automotive, nationally syndicated expert, racer, safety expert, never pays retail, and will drive the wheels off anything, the car coach Lauren Fix. Good to see you again, Lauren. Good to see you, too. I love this study. See, I've been saying this for a long time. I've taught people how to race cars. There's some phenomenal men drivers, no question. But women get behind the wheel, and they want things explained to them, and they follow direction, okay. where men tend to be very impulsive. Let me bring everybody up to speed on this. This is a study by Privilege Insurance that concluded after years of debate and banter comes the news that have men running for cover. Women are actually better drivers than men. Here it is. 1,383 motorists found that fewer than a third of the women believed they were better drivers than men. By contrast, only one in eight men thought women were superior behind the wheel. But here's the thing. The women beat the guys, but they don't want to say it out loud, Lauren. So that leaves it up to you to go ahead and say it out loud for them. I'm, I'm shocked. I mean, I do know some bad drivers, both male and female. And they drive me berserk. And most of them are on New York City streets, which is where I am today. And driving is crazy. But... I will tell you this, women tend to think more safety focused, especially when you have children in the car. And we just tend to, we're wired differently. We tend to want to know more details and we tend to be a little bit safer. We're ten men tend to be impulsive, especially young men. Well, why is that though? Is it just because we're angry? I mean, come on, no. I see guys that are in their 40s and 50s and they're just as angry as the 18 year olds when they're driving sometime. It's out of control. I don't know if I call it anger. I think it's uh, impulsive, shall we say, just okay. in a rush to get where we need to be. Listen, I drive like one of the guys. I admit it. I've raced with men before and, and they were like, wow, you can race with us. You're one of the guys. But I'm an exception. But when I've taught people how to drive cars as an instructor or taught them how to race vehicles, especially when it's a husband-wife team, the wife is always a better driver. She always is more precise, wants to know the details, and the men just tend to be more lead foots. Okay, now, but you are not going to include, though, and again, I'll get hammered for this. It's okay. I have no problem with it. You're then not going to include the ladies, and trust me, they're watching us right now. We guys know it, who are in there <laughs> doing their makeup while they're driving at 50 miles an hour. Now, right. I do know women that do that. I know guys that shave. I see people every day reading <laughs> books, newspapers while driving. Those are just dumb drivers as a whole. And I always have a rule, dumb drivers make themselves known. It's just pretty obvious when you see them out there. They're driving all over the road. You're like, I got to get around this guy so he doesn't take me out. But uh, those people are just bad drivers in general. And an autonomous car might be a good choice for them. But for those of us that love to drive and want to get where we need to be, Women are, of course, according to this study, anyhow, better drivers. Okay. Men will never admit it. No, of course. <laughs> you'll, you'll never admit it, and we as guys will never admit it, though I will say that you're probably a little bit more safer than us. But I'm not, I'm not a typical woman, so you can't include me. That we know. <laughs> that On that, there is absolutely no doubt whatsoever that you are not the typical woman, which is why you are here as the car coach, if you will. So let's move yeah. on. Uh, Uber. Planning to hire tens of thousands of employees in the next few years. I mean, this is out of control. Uber's raised almost $6 billion in venture capital funding to date. The company's valued at $40 billion. They're moving into other cities now. Hey, I'll tell you what, if I was a taxi cab driver right now, I'd be worried about my livelihood. You know what? I'll tell you what. I mean, I've been in cabs everywhere, but you try to get a cab in a smaller city. Uh, I have a home in Buffalo, and you go there, you try to get a cab, you're going to wait 40 minutes. I've actually got on Uber in smaller cities, and there's no service. It'd be really nice to have Uber available when you want to go to the store you can't drive, or you need to get someplace to the airport and you don't want to leave your vehicle there at $40 a night. So, I mean, there are there is spots for Uber all around the country, and I think it's smart. They're a good business. I mean, it's a good business model. And, hey, don't forget that guy out there who claims, oh, yeah, yeah, I was one of the original inventors. Right, that's He's a guy in, in California. Tent. Yeah, Ken, this guy, Ken Halpern is his name. Yep. What a genius. Oh, my gosh. You know, there's always somebody when someone else is successful, someone else 
figures out something that we all want. And Uber has been very successful, and I've had very good luck with them. But for someone to say, me too, oh, yeah, it was my idea. It's just Well, like but I mean, Facebook. let's also look at this. He you know? sued the city of Santa Cruz, California for unlawful arrest. He has sued several other cities before. So he likes it, okay? He gets, he, he he gets his jollies out of doing this. Uh, listen, about 60 seconds I have left, though. Here's the one thing about Uber, though, that I keep hearing from a lot of people. Because they're not employees, people sometimes are scared. You don't know what you're getting from an Uber driver. And there have been instances where we're talking about the potential for criminality here. That scares right. a lot of people, especially, the, let's be honest, single women. True, but how many times have you got in a cab? And that's why I always laugh when I get to the airport, especially in New York, and they say, hey, need a cab, need a cab. And in my head, I think of my mother saying, don't get in the car with a stranger. But you do every time you get in a cab or an Uber. But they work so for somebody, though. Vetted, I mean, there's... But that doesn't mean that they are. But they work for somebody, though. That at least has some sort of recourse, if you will. The Uber driver doesn't work for anybody but themselves, technically. Right, and some of the cab drivers in the car services are their own. They're their own company, so you don't know that when you call a car service. They may farm it out to someone else, just like the cabbie. And sometimes I tell you, with some of the cabbies, you'd swear they got their license out of a Cracker Jack box, and I was in one of those today. <laughs> so, <laughs> Don't say that out loud in New York City. Don't you know that they watch this show? They'll be looking they for you. They'll be going, do. oh, look, yeah, there she is. You see that lady over there? She's the one that gave us a dog there on the show. We're getting it, so. Be careful now, all right? I uh, will. But you like Uber, though, right? That's the, the bottom line? I do line? like Uber. I've had okay. really good luck. Uh, when I need a car and it's early in the morning, I've got an early flight, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I can't leave my car at the airport. It's great. So I think in a lot of cities it would definitely help. Uh, when you need to get from place to place, sometimes you just can't rent a car, especially during the holidays. And and tell the well Uber drivers Uber. to get their education then from Lauren Fix. Don't forget, laurenfix.com. Always a pleasure to see you, Lauren. See you next week. Thanks, Ed. Take care. Take care. You too. Stay with us. Midpoint continues.